for the last 20 plus years, if you had a question, there was only one real king of the internet, Google. It was the golden standard of search. Type something in and boom, you get hundreds of links. Simple, powerful and it shaped the way we lived online. But today, things are changing because we have entered the age where an AI can give you the answers directly. And the center of this shift challenging this undisputed king is Perplexity AI. So the question is, can Perplexity AI actually take over Google search? Let's find out. Let's start with how both of them work at the basic level. We'll give a search prompt like uh, explain generative AI in simple terms. With the new Google AI mode, Bort shows me direct results, well explained and backed up with sources right there. Notice I didn't even need to open 10 tabs. Even though Google AI mode and perplexity give the same output, one of the biggest difference is the source control. With perplexity, I can literally choose what kind of sources I want to see, like a uh, web, academic, social, finance, etc. On Google, you don't really get that flexibility. If you want something academic, you have to jump over to Google Scholar manually. Now, we will compare perplexity and Google search specifically for financial analysis. I'll give the prompt here in the perplexity and Google. And the prompt is generate a financial report for this quarter for Reliance Share. I'll search the web now. Earlier in Google, we used to get links, but now with the new AI mode, let's see what happens. You can observe that Google AI mode and perplexity give similar answers. Now, you might be wondering why I still prefer perplexity over Google. And here's why things get even more interesting. Because perplexity isn't just Google with AI summaries. It's becoming a full creative and research platform. For example, if I give a prompt like create an image of Google versus perplexity AI. And if we give the same prompt on Google. On Google, we get the images that are already on the web. But in perplexity, it chooses the appropriate model for every task. And here you can see it started generating the image. And if we wait uh, for perplexity to generate the image, we'll see the results in few seconds. And here's our result. And here you see the difference. We get personalized image and we can change it by further prompting it. But on Google, we can't do that. And on Perplexity AI, yeah, we can do the same thing for video generation too. Perplexity can generate images, even videos, based on your queries. Something Google simply doesn't do. Think about it. Search, summarize, create, all inside the same tool. Now, the best part of Perplexity AI yeah, is that you can personalize your answers. Like for example, if we go uh, here and click personalization, I can just give a prompt here like, Hi, I am Sawmill and I am a beginner in the field of data science. So I want all explanation in a very simplified manner and just save it. So next time when I ask something like, what is machine learning? I'll get the response in a very simplified manner and easy to understand for a beginner. The answer is machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence that teaches computers to learn from data and improve their performance on tasks without being explicitly programmed for each specific task. You see, I can even change that personalization to something like this. I am an expert in the field of data science and I want all the answers in a very concise manner. But this is something which is missing in the Google searches. So is this the end of Google? Not quite. Google still dominates web indexing and has the deepest search infrastructure and is still the go-to for extreme broad and complex searches. But Perplexity AI is fast becoming the tool of choice for when you need clear, direct and trustworthy answers. It's not about opening 20 tabs anymore. It's about having an AI researcher summarize the web for you instantly. 20 years ago, 
Google replaced libraries for many of us. 20 years from now, perplexity might just replace Google. So, what do you think? Will perplexity take over? Or is Google too big to fall? Tell me in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want more deep dives into AI tools. Trust me, the search war has only just begun.